Hey, what's up, dudes? It's Mac the Snapper, and today I'm going to give you five reasons why you should get a dirt bike instead of seriously dating a Western woman. Here we go. Uh, no. No. Damn it. Ah, here we go. Reason one. Riding a motorcycle is one of the best forms of therapy, both mentally and physically. If you just need to forget about everything, or if you want a good full-body workout routine, then a dirt bike is right for you. I must say, though, that riding is not a fix-all. If you're feeling any kind of way that's negative, I always recommend that you should not ride. It's dangerous enough as it is, so you don't want to go out all angry and or whatever. So get yourself right, then go. Use it to disconnect from reality, not blow off steam. There's a difference between putting yourself in danger and actively being reckless. Don't let your emotions take control. If you're a dude, when it comes to emotions, really the, the best advice I think I can give is don't have them. In my opinion, emotions are the enemy of logic because logic will very rarely unalive you. Emotions, however, are probably a leading cause of yeet in the human race. I'm not sure if there are any scientific studies or if it could even be measured. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Uh, probably a good question for chronic. Reason number two. Owning a dirt bike will not get you bitches. However, it will get you homies. And from my experience, even the most unloyal moto homies were the m most loyal or were more loyal than the most loyal girls I have ever dated in the past. Side note, motohoes are only loyal if you're winning. Back in my racing days, I dated a chick who was pretty cool until I broke my back in a heat race and was out for the season. Hoes are opportunistic. Ride for the sake of riding, not for bitches. And I'm not saying don't ever date a non-virgin western woman, just don't marry them. As Chronic says, non-virgin women are great for one thing, practice. See, in motocross, you can visit and practice on a motocross track a couple times a week, but that doesn't mean you're going to marry it, because just like non-virgin Western women, a motocross track is just a bunch of dirt. Reason number three, a motorcycle won't have, won't leave you and take half your shit. They don't care if you're attractive or ugly as sin. They will ride exactly the same unlike women. They might break from time to time though, and the engine might blow up, but they make new parts to repair them every day. And you can always just let them sit in the garage if you don't have the money to fix them. You can't do that with a woman, or at least you're not supposed to. Hmm. Reason number four, cost. If you are an average guy who thinks you're supposed to be the one who pays for everything, Women become very expensive, and usually, the investment never even pays off. On average, dating Western women can cost upwards to $10,000 a year. Fact check, not sure. Uh, whereas, the entry-level cost of a dirt bike is anywhere between three and five k Another side note, the cost of a failed marriage to the wrong woman is your children, your family, your money, your home, and in some cases, your life. What outcome would you rather have? I know the one that I chose and why I did. Choose wisely, Buddhas. Side so number three. Uh, if you go buy a bike off Marketplace and it says something along the lines of, quote-unquote, fresh rebuild, assume that it is about to blow up. People on Marketplace lie about the condition of vehicles around half as much as women lie about their body count, which is a lot, by the way. Reason and final reason number five. Idle hands are the devil's workshop. If you own a motorcycle, ride it regularly, and learn how to maintain it yourself, you will not have time to be worried about dating useless bitches. Buy a dirt bike, be patient, and then go get an Asian girl from overseas, because Western women are trash. In closing, do what you want, and what makes you content with life. Really, all I'm saying is get a manly hobby that you enjoy that will, all, that will, that will also train both your mind and and your body to be better. Anyway, this has been five reasons why you should get a dirt bike instead of seriously dating a Western woman. If you want to see more content, want more content like this, let me know in the comments below. 
Now, I got to go rebuild the suspension on my buddy's bike. It's been Mac the Snapper, and I will catch you, Buddhas, in the next one.